Okay, let's learn how to paint eyes using Photoshop. First thing you should do is to open the second window of your work. Go to Window, Arrange, New Window 4, and the name of your file. The whole idea of having a copy of your work at your side is to be constantly looking at what you're painting. Make sure your brush settings are on. Go to Window Brush, or just click F5. Now, I have a new layer for my personal color palette. I usually have this next to a particular section of the painting. This is just a personal preference. Uh, I can quickly pick my colors at ease. Let me just put this close to the eye. Uh, okay. Make sure you have your at a decent uh, resolution so you can actually see your sketch. Your first window should be at least 200% and your second window should be 25 to 50. Okay. And I'm using a soft edge brush. Uh, just bef before I forget, if you have a, a Wacom tablet, just make sure your pen pressure is on. And if you're using a mouse set your opacity to at least 10 to 15 percent when going over the sketch line just make sure you introduce your color carefully if you use a mouse and you have uh, your opacity set to low you're gonna have to go over it quite a few times but at this stage uh, we don't really pay too much attention to uh, detail I just want you to get the rough idea of building color with opacity the process here is just to go over and over uh, the color you just introduced and we're gonna do it several times alright guys I I wish I could upload uh, just one video the full tutorial unfortunately YouTube does not allow me to post uh, videos longer than 15 minutes if you wanna help um, the only way that I could upgrade my account is by having subscribers and and votes on my videos so if you wanna help just uh, vote on this video uh, make it your favorite if you want and subscribe to my channel this way for future tutorials um, I don't have to split it into parts anyways back to the tutorial let's have the same black color and right now we could set the opacity to a hundred or uh, set the um, pen pressure off and just have a dark color in for the pupil okay now let's start adding some reflection here and you don't want to go full white on this you could go with a light gray color okay and that should be enough here kind of like a square okay now let's pick another color and start adding detail on the iris and just start making uh, a few lines around the edge of the pupil just go crazy at it you don't need to be too fussy about it grab a lighter color here and add some light to the iris mm, that looks good Now 
let's go back to painting those little lines. From now on, start using the color picker. And you can press uh, Alt. As you can see, I used the color picker right there, and just build in a shadow on the edge of the iris. And it doesn't have to be full black. So, when you have your opacity low, it's not going to come out black. This is just a basic step to realism. If we compare the skin to the eyes, you can see the, the amount of detail the eyes have. So my only suggestion is to spend more time adding those extra details in order to achieve realism. Most people are worried about the skin texture and if you pay close attention uh, the eyes will bring your your painting to life basically and I'll show you that at the end of this video okay And we're just building texture on the iris. And as you can see, I work from light to dark. So if you're paying attention, your, you have your opacity low at this stage okay let's just add some shadows and you can do this with a black color and as we go over the, the light green uh, we get a, a darker a green color that we could just use around the iris uh, to make those uh, small lines as you can see we we are actually building more texture in and um, another way to add texture is to open up your brush settings and set the uh, scattering on to 800 to 900 and we're gonna have uh, small dots and uh, just go around Oops, I think I went overboard. I'll just leave it just to see. I could go over it if if I don't like it later on. Hmm. I'm going with a darker. Looks good.
I find it easier to have a a color palette next to next to me. And um we're adding some skin texture. And again using the uh the color picker. And just go over sketch line again. Now let me add some skin texture, skin color, some highlights to the eye, this clearer. And the same, I'll say the same technique is used for skin as well. We go from light to dark. So your opacity low to high. And um, let's start adding some gray on the eyelids that looks good now we have like a um, dark purple and just go around oh. let's get a light pink And we can add that color to the lower eyelid and the sclera. This section of the eye is actually reddish, but you could get away with a uh, light pink as well. Okay, and I I do recommend you go to google.com and search for images on, on eye. And just start paying attention to the anatomy of the eye the um, iris, the lower eyelids, and the sclera. And my time is up, so click on the link for part 2, and I'll see you there.